Dixon. Go on, Mike. Go on. Ah, throw him back. He still smells like milk. Hey, he ain't too young for this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and one for good luck. <laughs> Come on, let's go. So long, gang. See you, guys. Oh, Come on, well, brother, what a disappointment you must have been. What's the matter, Georgie? They're trying to rush your education? Wanna watch it, Georgie? One smooch, and you'll be on the stuff all your life, huh? <laughs> you know, we can get along without you two in here. Come on, Andy. I'll bet the kid knows more of that stuff than you and me put together. I thought your father said to get a haircut and come right back. It's Friday, isn't it? The place is loaded, so I had to wait. And look at the way you got it cut. If you got it done short, like I told you, you'd get an extra week out of it. That's kid stuff. Short. The, uh, that barber said I could use a shave. What do you think? You hear that, fellas? Georgie here thinks he needs a shave. <laughs> like the stern of a plucked chicken. Here, <laughs> Georgie Pie, let's send it off. If you want to use my razor, George, you'll find it on top of the cabinet. <laughs> hey, that's good. That's real good. I like our judges call him best, don't you, Flanagan? Uh-huh. He's real sharp. Eat your vegetables, see? So if you don't like them, eat them anyway. Think of them like medicine. Oh, you're as bad as Frances. And she's always saying. Hey, Dad, I only picked up two tickets for the fight tonight. What about Frances? Forget about Frances. Just remember to look decent for tonight. Hey, Flanagan. Why does he get so burned up just as I talk about Frances? And she hasn't been around in a couple of weeks more. Boy, they were getting along. I thought they'd end up being married. How long you, your dad, and I lived together? About 16 years, since my mother died. Yeah, since then. 16 years to learn better than to ask me something that your father won't tell you. Yeah, but I, I kind of miss Francis. Forget it. OK, OK. It's, it's only that, OK. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Georgie. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Georgie. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. Off your shirt, Lemaine. I want to see some skin. Take off your shirt.
I said skin. Why'd you let him do it? Why'd you let him do it? Shut up. Aren't you gonna get even with him? Forget it. Forget it. What about all those other people? Why don't you tell them to forget it?
Tell a man, what's this about your old man getting beat up tonight? I hear he liked it. Asked for his second helping. And he's okay. Probably figures to square it in his own way. None of that stuff around here. Not so long as this is my beat. Is that what he's got on his mind, Lemire? So to forget it. If he ever started anything, Judge might stick a couple of newsboys onto him. You tell your old man I know what happened and I know who was in it. If anything more comes of it, I'll know just where to start looking. You tell him that, kid. What's the idea, Keneally? Figure out judge to get your promotion? How is he now, Georgie? Is he hurt bad? He's all right, only he's lying down, and I don't want to bother him. So please, Mr. Ruller, could you lend me a quarter? Yeah, he's an expert at laying down, ain't he? <laughs> Do me the favor, Georgie. The baby likes you. Stay with her for two minutes until her mama comes back from shopping. Then I'll give you the quarter, huh? What's it tonight, Georgie? Big day? Yeah, big day. So you're the great owl judge, huh? Thought it was just a wet-nosed kid, didn't you? Don't worry, I'm not gonna shoot. Not unless you try to pull a fast one. But you're gonna sit there and take orders from me. She'll be all right. I just talked to her a bit and she stopped crying. You're a real father, Georgie. The girl who gets you, she'll be the lucky one, all right. Thank you. It's okay. Georgie, it's terrible what happened to your father. He'll be all right. I gotta get right back and see. He's such a nice man. Why would anybody want to hurt him? I don't know, Mrs. Ehrlich. Well, tell him he should feel better. He's got such a wonderful, wonderful boy. Thank you. Give your father my best, Georgie. And tell him to take care of himself. Okay, Mr. Ellis. And Georgie, I think he was a smart man not fighting back like that. Very smart. Very smart. of converting one of those ducats into coin of the realm? If you are, I'm prepared to open negotiate. How much? Uh, let me see the ticket and I'll make an offer. Hey, that's all right. Is the deal for 10 bucks? Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, big boy. You're in. How much you get for that ticket, Joe? <laughs> That's all I want to know. Don't you know you can't go around peddling tickets like that, bud? You ain't as dumb as all that, are you? I didn't know it was wrong, sir. Honest, I didn't. I wouldn't have done it if I'd known it was wrong. My father got two tickets. Only six, so he couldn't come along with me. Honest, I didn't know it was wrong. You got any identification, Joe? No. How about your draft card? Ain't you got sense enough to carry that around? I don't have a draft card. I'm not old enough. Yeah. As long as I got this evidence here, you're in plenty of trouble. You know, if there wasn't any evidence, 
There ain't a thing I could do. Well, you got any ideas? That is my money. I never saw it before. You sure? I never saw it before. You picked it up when you seen it drop out of my pocket, didn't you? Yeah, that's what happened. The next time you see somebody drop money, don't think about it so long before you decide to give it back. Now go on, on your horse. <laughs> I wonder if she could loan me those glasses for a second. Well, my patron. I saw that foreseen character grab you just after I got through the gates. I trust you managed to take care of yourself. He was a cop. A cop? <laughs> Come, man, where have you been all your life? Cheap scoundrel. Penny anti chisel. Why, that... Oh, you were had, huh? I'm sorry. so interesting. Oh, I, I just saw a friend down there. <laughs> the way you jumped, I thought it must be Lady Godiva. Name's Cooper, Dr. Lloyd Cooper. What's yours? George LeMay. Oh, where do you keep your office, doctor? I mean, where do you see your patients? <laughs> Not that kind of doctor, George. PhD, doctor of philosophy. I teach journalism in the college upstate. That's who you were glaring at down there, huh? No, but... Al Judge, huh? What's wrong? Get you fired or something? No. You want to take a poke at him, huh? <laughs> You're not the only one, believe me. A cane of his. He whacked a friend of mine right across the eyes with it. No, that's not it. So what's wrong? Nothing. You know, don't expect to use brass knuckles or a sap or anything like that, do you? I'd just like to get your lumps back. Sure. <laughs> George, my gallant, just follow me. Enter Gladiator, the sound of golden bagpipes. Yonder, I do believe, your elusive quarry.
The way you look, I think I'll bet on you. What have you been doing? Training on raw meat? What'll it be? I'll have whatever you do. This is an occasion, General. Make it two mataxes. To the Greeks. Huh? They too were gladiators. What is this, Bud? Your hangout? Honest, Mr. Peck, I wasn't doing anything. I, I just came in to get washed up. I gotta get right back out because my friend's waiting for the me. The name is Peck and Pa, Bud. I didn't know. I heard Mr. Judge call you Peck, so I thought that was your name. Please, Mr. Peck and Pa, I gotta see my... Don't shove me around. Don't you know about me? I don't like to have anybody shove me around. I'm not trying to shove you around. All I want to do is get out of here. Don't like to have anybody call me a liar either, Bud. What are you up to? You're on the level. What are you sweating about? You got my ten bucks. Isn't that enough? Why do you let me alone? What do you mean, your ten bucks? Fine. Hey. George! George. I know everything, George. Everything. You got him in there, hmm? Ah, you rat, you. This one is for the working class. Wang! One punch and it's all over, hmm? How about it, George? Can we take a look at the remains now? Oh, come on, George. Just one little teeny wing look. Huh? Our judge isn't even here. He left. I gotta find him. Wait a minute, George. Wait a minute. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You were after him, weren't you now, huh? You're a newspaper man, huh? Okay. George here is looking for Mr. Judge. Mr. Al Judge. It's the most important thing in the world. George is going to track him to his lair, and then, wham, a kill. Please, will you? That's why it's important. Why don't you call up the press? The judge is there. Why, they'll tell you. Otherwise, they'll tip you off where he's at. It's Hillview, 0404. Let's go on with the news. George! George! Hey, George! I'm late, George. I'm hours late. Cutting into the club. Stop! Stop! Hey, George, stop. George!
I gotta make a call. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there all night. After using a settling torch to get him out. Hello? Well, Paul Revere, what did you do? Walk down from Troy? Dog sled. One of my dogs threw a shoe just outside Albany. Oh, as it happens, I bumped into an old friend of mine, George Lemayne. He's in the newspaper game. A man with a mission. Hello. Hello. Julie Rostina, a girl with a mission. She'll straighten you all out, Georgie, because you, you're a schizoid. You have no peace of mind. Julie hates people with no peace of mind. Don't you, Julie? You slay me. Sports department, please. Hello. I, I wanted to talk to Al Judge. Oh. Well, when do you think he'll be back? A couple of hours. Huh? But where is he now? But I got to talk to him right away. Um, around two o'clock. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you. Ah, three Martel. You know I can't touch that stuff. Make it two Martel, General. The ladies in training. You slay me. You really do. Now what's wrong? I've been late before. You, you, you tell me, George. What have I done that's wrong? She don't ask me, doc doctor. Better ask you, Miss Rustina here. Marion's at the apartment. Huh? She came back two days early. Judas, that's great. Couldn't you tell her you had a slight case of smallpox? She's my sister. No kidding. Is that the latest compulsion? You're right. You really are. All support, fellow clients, for our virgin sibling. Why don't you go away and leave me alone? You're not making things any easier. Listen, I'm sorry. I take it back. But don't ever talk like that. Well, what do you want me to say? Uh, look, we're dragging poor George right into the middle of a family quarrel. Is that any way to teach him to have peace of mind? Cheetah, that's okay. Come on, let's dance. Harry Angelus will be on in five minutes. Yeah, let's. Come on, George.
Georgie. Oh. Okay, okay. I think I can't help myself. Pleased to meet you. I want you to know what I think. I think you're the most wonderful singer in the whole world. Thanks. That isn't all. Because also you're, you're so beautiful. Even if you are a... I've forgotten your name. We weren't introduced. You fell asleep on the way in. I remember the stairs. You ought to. You spent a long time on them. Who are you? I'm Julie's sister, among other things. Where's Dr. Cooper? 
You went out to get something more to eat or something. Cooper said they'd be right back. In case you have any faith in Cooper. Hey. Don't you like him? Why, do you? Heck yeah. How long have you known him? Well, let me see. Since tonight we met at the fight. Well, then you haven't known him very long, have you? Well, don't have to know people long. I mean, well, doesn't it ever happen to you? You meet somebody and you take one look and you know they're all right. Just like that? Yeah. You notice how you can do that? Yes, yeah, sometimes. Sure, of course. I, uh, I guess when you're younger, you don't notice things. When you're younger. I don't like it, Snuck. Hey, you want I should float out of here? It's nothing like coffee for a man with a hangover. Yeah, a man's got to have it. You know? You're nice. Thank you, George. I'm sure if I knew you better, I could say the same thing right back. I wasn't fishing. Fishing? You like to read? Yes. I guess I can say it without knowing you any longer. Huh? You are nice. How come if Dr. Cooper's like you think he is, Julie goes out with him? He's lonely. Lonely? How? Well, I mean, each of us has got secret things deep inside. And if we don't have someone we can share them with, we usually go all haywire. That's what I mean by lonely. I know what you mean. Think. But, but maybe you're wrong about Dr. Cooper. Look, I've only known him a little while, but maybe you're wrong. The first day my sister brought him home, my father was still alive then. He took a look and he said he's no good. Maybe my judgments aren't airtight, but my father was never wrong, you notice. What makes you think your father was always right? Well, he was, that's all. How do you know? I mean, I mean, how can you be so sure? Look, I lived with him nearly all my life. And suppose that all the years you lived with him, you thought he had heart and guts. He was a real man. You found out you were wrong. So you'd just been sucked in. Suppose somebody walked in and hurt him. Hurt him bad. Everybody just stood around and laughed at him. And he didn't do anything about it. What would you do then? I'm not talking about my father. There's something else bothering you, isn't there? Well, what would you do? If all your life you thought he was so wonderful. And he turns out just to be a fake. That you've been fooled all along. He just had to grab it where he left off and, and go out looking for the guy who had done that so that... Is that what happened to you? Are you out looking for someone? What is it, George? My gun. Where's my gun? Maybe you lost it in the cab here. You hid the gun. No, I didn't, George. Yes, you did. You hit it. I didn't. Believe me, George. You were playing me along. You didn't really like me. You thought I was just a kid, didn't you?
Were you laughing at me? Were you still thinking I was wet behind the ears and smelled the milk? Were you? You think I'm a kid now? I did want you to forget about it. I didn't think it would make you any, any safer or happier or older to, to use it on someone else. And George, when you kissed me, I knew I was too old for you. But I did like it. It's the sweetest I've ever had. Yeah? Sweet. George. George. Well, homework, I presume. Oh, shut up, Coop. Hmm? George, George, come back, please. Where is he going? Probably be there the rest of the night. Thanks. You aren't the one he hit across the face with a cane, are you? I knew him. Okay, kid. It's late. You got any money? Please, mister, please take me. Shove off, Mac. Please, it isn't very far. Well, what's the matter with you? Can't you take a joke? Can't you? <laughs> Whatever you say, Mac, this one's on the house. Francis Jasky. Who's that?
generally like people to knock. But now that you're in, sit down. Listen, if you're worried about me talking, forget it. They won't need me. I'm not worried about you talking. I like to hear you talk. You don't get it, fella. Heck and Paul turned in a description of you a mile long when he came to. He'll send you up for a nice long stretch without any help from me at all. Weren't you laying for Peck and Paul? No. Oh, look, I saw you in the mirror. I'd have tipped him off, only it happens I don't like him. I wasn't laying for him. You weren't? No. Then what? Me? I couldn't quite tell for sure, but I got the impression you were packing a gun. I still am. In that case, I guess I can take the time to find out whatever your beef is. Or were you just planning to shoot me without letting me in on the secret? Don't get funny. What do you know about Francis Sajowski? What are you doing here? Is that your business? Sit still. I'll kill you if you don't sit still. Don't go waving that gun around, son. You're not in any shape to fool around like that. No, just, just keep your head and let's talk sensibly. How did you know, Francis? Know her? Know my sister? Your sister? You expect me to believe that? Doesn't matter whether you believe it or not. She couldn't be your name. That was my name, too. Zajowski. Judge in Polish. I'm just going through her stuff. I'm supposed to have it out of here tomorrow. Out of here? What for? Where is she? Son, you're too jumpy to have a gun in your hand. Put it away, will you? And I'll tell you anything you want to know. Where is she? What happened to her? Now, don't be surprised. I'll tell you. But for both our sake, don't be surprised. She's been dead a week. Does my father know that? Your father? Who's your father? You know it. Andy LeMaine. LeMaine! He sent you a kid. Don't call me that. Ah, look, whatever he wants. Some letters? So he doesn't have to be afraid to come and ask for them. You go tell him. He that. doesn't even know I'm here. Then I don't get it. I told you to take off your shirt and show me some skin. Then would you get it? Listen, son. Francis was my sister. I had the right to do what I did. You didn't. You had none. You just did it right in front of everybody. She'd been living, thinking your old man was going to marry her. I thought you said she was dead. He killed her. I'm telling you the truth. When he said he wouldn't marry her, she bought a bottle of pills. She killed herself here. Because of your old man, Andy LeMaine. Your old man, kid. Your old man. You're lying to me. You're lying. Lying. Okay. Shoot me. I'm only a cripple anyway. It couldn't be true what you said about my father. But you believe it is. And I can't shoot you just because you don't know what he's really like. Good night, Mr. Judge. Well, here's your... Right there. Don't move an inch either way. I don't have to be afraid to kill you. It's simply a case of resisting an armed prowler. Two cases of assault with a deadly weapon in one night. Say, about uh, 15 years. I think that ought to stretch out the enjoyment for all of us. Now, first your father, so he won't miss any of the fun. And the police. What's the number? Don't. Oh, but of course, my sister would have it listed. Don't call my father. I thought when I left his place tonight, I hadn't gotten all the satisfaction out of my water.
George, what's the matter? What is it? What? I just killed Al Judge. <gasps> I want a glass of water. Judge. Judge said he had a right to do it. You killed my father. I don't believe that, do you? He said my father made Francis kill herself because he wouldn't marry her. That's why he was beaten up. Who was Francis? She was my father's girlfriend. But they liked each other. I don't know if she wanted to get married bad enough or he'd have said yes. Isn't that what you think? I wish I could help, George, but I don't know. But, but look, Mary, my... My father's good. Real good. Plus, him and me, we don't talk much. Together, I mean. Tell me everything. I guess he thinks I'm still a kid. And I try to tell him, but I can't. I don't know why, but I... I can't tell him how much I like him. Can you understand that, Marion? Why? Just the other day. No, yesterday. Just last night at dinner. It was my birthday. My father, you, you couldn't guess what. He had a cake. Yeah, a birthday cake for me, a surprise. And he, he met everyone at the bar saying happy birthday. Look at that. And then he came right down the bar to where I was sitting. He sat down in front of me. And then he looked at me. Right then, I want to say, Dad, no, Father. How was it? I wanted to say, Father, I love you. Just like that, I wanted to say it. But you, you know, he was a fighter. But he's a man, a, a real man. I just didn't say anything. Sat there. Here I felt all tied up. I couldn't get it out. I just, just couldn't get it out. My father couldn't have made Francis kill herself, could he? He couldn't have. I never meant to kill Judge. I thought I had a right to get even with him for what he'd done. But then when he told me about Francis, well, if it's true, he had a reason. And if it's true, my father... I'm sure it's not true, George. I'm sure it's not true. Then how come? How come? How come he just lay there and let Judge beat him? I don't know what your father did or didn't do. I couldn't possibly know. But you've got to realize, even if it's very hard to, that that really doesn't matter. Even if it was an accident, 
killing Al Judge, even if he was a very bad man. You were wrong to try to make things right with a gun in your pocket. Hey, what's going on here? Hmm? Don't you just... two hire yourselves a hall? George just came back. Hmm? Yeah. Good for George. I just killed Al Judge. Fine. Huh? <laughs> Only I'm sorry now and I... I don't know what to do. Look, you gotta help me. I need help. Killed him? What did you do? Beat him up so bad you thought he was dead? Shot him. Shot him? <laughs> You're drunk. Look, he beat up my father and I killed him. I thought I had a right to do it, but... And I found out something, and now... Oh, no. So what was all that about him getting you fired, and you just wanted to get even? You said that. I let you think it was true. I said it. Don't you go putting words into my mouth. What are you trying to do, make me your alibi? I just want you to help me. Well, put that gun away. Come on, let's get out of here. Cooper! Kill a man and come running back to me like that. I'm telling you this. You get it into your head. You don't know me, see? You don't know me. You never saw me before. You gotta let me stay here. You can't chase me away. Tell it, Marion. You gotta let me I'm stay. I'm giving you the biggest break of your life. I'm not turning you over to the cops right now. You're on your way. You gotta let me stay. And if you drag my name into this, I'll kill you myself. You understand? I've got a family upstate. I don't want to have to do any explaining to my mother. Now get out and shut up. <laughs>
kill. Tell him he's guilty. They'll kill him. Kill him for what I've done. I'm not a kid anymore, Flanagan. I can take it. I can take it myself. You can't. Hear me. You can't. Why? Why not? He's not to blame. I am. Well, he thinks he is. Anyway, he's your father and he wants it this way. Stop it. Don't go. Don't take him. Wait. Wait. He don't know what he's saying. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. Look, my father didn't kill Al. Judge, I did. I didn't mean to, but I did. George. I use this. There's people that saw me with it. They know I killed him. Look, I'll give you their names. Let's have it. Relax. Listen, son. Nobody killed Judge. Creased him is all. Nasty powder burn. Concussion. No more. He's alive? If they say so. He's dead. I killed him. It's a trick. It's the truth, George. It's the truth. Judge will be all right, son. Just give me that gun. If it was an accident, like you say, no premeditation, it would likely be a suspended sentence. Something like that. Listen to him, George. Listen to him? Why? You think I'm a kid and you're lying to me. I'm your father. Give me that gun. Give it to me. No. Even if our judge is alive, what's the use of my living? Nothing that matters to me anymore, and nobody I matter to. You're all worn out, boy. You're tired. So tired you can't think straight. Georgie, you matter to me. Since when? Georgie. When did I ever matter to you? Did I? Did I ever matter to him, Flanagan? Why don't you ever treat me like a person with a brain, with feelings of my own? No. Watch out! I use it. Maybe on myself. Lie in there, letting him beat you. Well, why shouldn't he? It was all your fault anyway. Georgie. It was. If you married Francis, the whole thing never have happened. You liked her all right, didn't you? And why didn't you marry her? How could I? I'm still married. To your mother. She's dead. My mother's dead. You left her. You left her and you never even told me. No. She left me. You squalling upstairs in a baby bed, me working my head off. All the time another man. Till she ran off with him. That's how it is with some men. There's only one woman in the whole world for him. If it's the wrong one, that's tough. But why didn't you tell me? I should have. I was afraid it would just make you hate her. What good would that do? Why shouldn't I, didn't you? No. I loved her. I kept on loving her. Told me about that too. I should have. I should have tried. 